Hey guys, this is my hand. Today I'm going to be showing you how to convert audiobooks into Substore SRS text. So you need uh, your actual audiobook and you need a text version of that book. Um, so to do that, you're going to have to find those yourself. However, there is you know, LibriVox, uh, some other resources where you can get audiobooks for free. Um, and there are uh, lots of sites where you can get books for free. Um, and I will post some links to, uh, to to some resource pages on my site, which should be able to help you with that. Um, if not, um, there's also, you know, you could ask people in the comments and I'm sure they will send you links or tell you of sites that you can use. Um, so once you've got a copy of both an audiobook and the physical book in text form, uh, whether it be PDF or, you know, you, can't, you actually want it in a TXT file, preferably, that's probably the best way. Uh, because even if this doesn't work, you can just import the TXT file into Anki. And then once you've done that, you want to also get AGSub, uh, which I'll leave a link to in the description below. AGSub is a free subtitle editing software. Um, and yeah, it's very useful. It's very easy to use. And we'll be using that throughout the rest of this video. You'll also need SubStressRS, of course. Uh, and the link to that will be in the description as well. Okay, so the very first thing we're going to want to do is try and line everything up. So essentially make sure the audio matches the book so to do this we're going to basically create subtitles with ag sub um, obviously we're not actually going to use those subtitles for a video but we're going to be going to ag sub and timing the sentences so that they match the audio um, and for most for the most part this shouldn't be too difficult but it's a long-winded process and you only really want to do it for i guess uh, the sentences that you really want to learn. So what you're going to be essentially doing throughout this is sentence mining as you listen to the audiobook and as you read through these sentences. Um, and I would essentially treat this process as sort of study time, essentially, or reading time as well as listening time. You're, you're getting a bit of both here. Um, and try not to think of it as a laborious task of, you know, trying to time sentences. Okay, so for this example, we're going to be using Kokoro. Um, it's a free book that you can find on Aozoro Bunko um, and I will leave a link to that in the description below if you want to check it out. Um, and yeah, there's uh, also free uh, audio for this on Library Vox if you want to download the, the, uh, the audio book. So we're going to be using this as our, as our test case. So if we can uh, just drop the audio into AGSub, it will start loading it and as you can see it'll basically load in as if it's uh, kind of like a, uh, an audio player, um, which is very useful. You can see, you know, where the highs and lows are and everything. And if you highlight a section, then you can play and you can actually hear the audio. So what we essentially need to do from here on out is find the first sentence. Um, and once we found it, we can copy and paste it into here. Uh, we can do that now, actually. Um, and we can change the timing of this later. It's perfectly fine. And I'll show you how to do that. So we're gonna need to find uh, this sentence here inside the audio. So the first bit is just uh, like the disclaimer kind of thing for LibriVox. So we can just sort of ignore that um, and just go to further on. Uh, okay, so this is the first bit. Okay, so that's the sentence right there. We actually hit it perfectly. So we can, this bit is just the, the, the number of the chapter. It's just him saying what chapter one, essentially. So we can start from here. Okay. okay. So space space replays this. That's why I kept playing it then. Uh, you have to physically click stop, which is a little bit annoying with this, but there you go. So just to clarify, left click makes the bar red. Uh, uh, you can set where the red bar goes and right click sets where the blue bar goes. And obviously that start, sets the start and the end of where you want to play. So if you want to uh, test and sort of figure out where the sentence is. So if I get the sentence for this piece of audio. Okay, so we've got up till here. We'll copy and paste that into here. So we now have a new sentence. Then we can hover over this. It's 41, uh, click on the start time. So we do 41 and it ended about 44. So then we'll just put 44 here. And that actually sets the time. So that's kind of the basic idea. Okay, so here we are in Substance RS. Now we've got our subtitles file here. We saved it. Um, and we've 
saved it as a .ass file, which means that it's now a subtitle file. Um, you don't have to export it or do anything fancy, you just literally just save it through EGSub and it should work through Substress OS. What you want to do from here on is uh, make sure you've had, uh, you've got generate subtitles checked off because you don't want to generate blank images for no reason. They just take up memory and it's just going to be useless. You want to make sure generate audio clips is checked and you can up the um, up or decrease the quality if you want to, but 128 is fine. And then you want to find your subtitle files, which obviously you just click the subs button and find the location where it's stored and then obviously click on it and just click open. You're also going to need to choose where to save all the files that are needed to generate the deck. So in this case, I'm just gonna choose the same folder that everything else is in. Finally, you're going to need to add the audio to Substress OS. In this case, you're just gonna click video and then find the audio file um, and it should just work. And one thing to note when you use the video button to find the audio file, obviously, the, most of these uh, files for audiobooks aren't going to be video files. They're gonna be .mp3s, or you know, different files that are used for audio instead of video. However, Substress RS does work with most of these files. So what you'll need to do is instead of using all common video files here, right click, uh, click on this and click all files and then find the audio file, double click on it and it'll work. And to see that it works, all you've got to do is click preview and then you can preview audio. And as you can hopefully hear from that, the sentence is spoken, you know, it's straight from the audio file and it works. So that's great. So this all works and we can just click go and generate the, the Substress OS deck. Okay, that's really quick. Um, we're just gonna load up Anki now and I'll show you how to set it up and import it into Anki. So what you want to do is once you're in Anki, uh, make yourself a, a deck, a new deck, uh, like, like so. Uh, click on it, go to file and import. And once you've clicked import, you're gonna to want to find this file, the TSV file. So find where you've saved everything uh, for the for the deck, once the output folder, uh, and then click on the TSV file with import. So here it is, .tsv, click open, and then you should come up with this page here. Now, it'll show you the card type, uh, the deck that it's going in. So if you wanna change the card type, you can do it here. You can choose a different card type. Um, and change the deck if you want to move it into a different deck. Um, and you can also choose here what, like how fields are separated and stuff, but for the most part, Substress OS has already done this for you, so you don't need to change much. All you need to do is make sure that the allow HTML fields is selected, otherwise the audio will not be imported. This is very important, and this is the main reason uh, why people uh, can't get the decks working. Okay, so what you want to do from here is make sure that all of this is mapped up with this. However, if you're learning Japanese, it's probably a better idea to change the card type to a different card type. Uh, essentially the Substar SRS card type that Substar SRS uses. So in order to do that, Substar SRS provides that uh, card type for you already. So all you have to do is just import it into Anki. So what we're gonna do is we wanna go to where you've downloaded Substar SRS, go in there and you should find the card type that you need. And you'll see there's a folder here called Anki Deck Template. You wanna click this. And in this folder, as you can see, you can see all of the templates that are for Anki 1 and Anki 2. Obviously we're doing this with Anki 2. So you wanna click um, and import these. Now I'm pretty sure it's um, context that we use. I can never remember which one it is. It's been a while since I've done this, but I'm pretty sure it's context that we need. Um, I don't think it probably matters too much. But once this is done, if you actually click on this, you can see the, the, the layout of the card. So if you press E for edit, you can see it's got a sequence marker, it's got an audio section, it's got a snapshot section, it's got a video expression, reading notes, all these different things that you might wanna use for Substress RS. Uh, now most of you will probably already have this done because you've already used Substress RS, otherwise you probably haven't clicked on this video. But just in case for you newbies, then you know, you'll know you have to do this first. What we want to then do is go back to Kokoro, go to import as we did before, um, open up the TSV file, and then change the card type. Change the card type to Substress RS. Change uh, the first mapping to tag, because it's it says tag on here, not sequence marker. So we'll find tag, which should be up the top. I know it's up the bottom, never mind. Um, and then next one is sequence marker, which is at the top. And then we've got audio clip, um, which is audio. And then we've got line from subs, to, uh, subs one. So we can then put expression, okay? Expression is always the 
the line that you're looking, the, the sentence that you want to learn. Um, and if you have the translation, which you might do, say if you have the translation text, um, you might want to put that in if you're starting out very early. Um, that is also an option. Um, and that would probably be, I would put that in meaning um, instead. Yeah, there's no back to this field. So I put that in meaning if you want to do that. Okay, and before importing, don't forget to double check one last time that allow HTML fields is checked and then import. And as you can see, it's now complete. And we have two part notes added that will take longer. It might freeze actually, uh, if your file is very big. Um, but as you can see, we now have two new cards in our deck. Now we could click study now. However, the cards are just gonna be generic sentences. They're not gonna have audio with them. Um, and to fix that, we are now going to put the audio files into Anki's uh, media collection. Therefore, Anki can then find the media files and then assign them to the cards and play the audio when you're actually studying these cards. One thing to point out actually before we do this is you can then delete this deck once you've imported. Um, you don't need this uh, Substrate template deck anymore. You can just delete that. Okay, so to find the media collection for Anki, you're going to want to go to percent app data percent. Okay, so you just go into search on Windows, type in uh, the percent symbol and then app data and then percent again. Once you've opened percent app data um, percent, you'll be taken straight from the updated uh, folder into roaming which is where we need to be. And you're then just going to want to find Anki 2 and double click that and open it. From here, you're going to want to select the profile, the correct profile that you were on. So in this case, I'm using test. And then you see the collection media folder. This is where all collections stored. Now I wouldn't necessarily open this folder because it, if you've got a lot of media in here, then it could lag. But I'll see if you, this is the first time you're doing this, then it'd probably be fine. But for me, if I open this folder, my whole computer is going to like, because there's a lot of different files in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the audio files that I need and copy and paste them into this without actually going into it. So to do that, I'm going to go back to the output folder where we outputted the contents of the deck to. Um, and you'll see that, you know, this is where the TSV file was and where the .media folder is, right? This is where the audio and the pictures are saved. Uh, that SubstraceRS generates. So you'll see there's two audio files here. These are both for each of the two sentences over here that we actually created. Um, and what we can do is we can just highlight this and then just drag it into media. And now they're in our uh, media collection. So now if we go back to Anki and we actually go into our deck and click study now, you can see that the audio plays. Now, uh, this sentence isn't actually laid out the way I wanted it to be. I was hoping that the audio would be on the back of the card. Uh, that is the way that I believe is probably most beneficial for you to learn sentences. The whole point of sentence mining and sentence picking is so that you can make sure that you can read these kanji correctly without any issues. So having the audio there to help you as soon as you see the card, obviously, makes this a little easier and it just kind of makes the whole process pointless in my opinion. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you how to change that. So what we're going to do is we're going to press E on the card, click cards. When you do that, the audio plays once uh, because it's like basically simulating the opening of the card. And you'll see there's a bit of code here. Now don't freak out because this is really simple, really easy to do. All you need to do is find the audio and possibly the video bit if you want to. Basically, this is probably gonna be on the same line. It should be the same as yours. So you can just press enter after this if it makes it easier for you. And then you can copy this and then paste it on the back instead. You can see this is the front template, which is the front of the card, and then the back template, which is the back of the card. So by moving the bit that has audio in it, this entire line, you are essentially taking the audio from the front of the card and putting it on the back. But yeah, doing this, you have now have the audio on the back. So if we go back to the card, go back to studying it, we can see that it didn't play then. And now that we've pressed space to show the back of the card, we then get the audio. This is a much better way of studying. Um, and I honestly believe that you should definitely have the audio on the back instead of on the front. The audio should be on the back to maybe help teach you on the first time you see the card or the first time you learn it. Um, but for the future times that you see the card, it's just there to help you remember not to teach you in the first place because you don't want to be taught every time you see this card, 
you want to remember how each word is said. So that's why it's on the back. So yeah guys, that's pretty much it. That's all there is to this process. Sorry if this video was long-winded, but hopefully this was useful for someone. Um, it's kind of just a very basic tutorial for AG Sub, and I'm pretty sure there's a much quicker way of going through this. There's probably ways of making this uh, a lot faster than what I'm doing right now. Um, but you know, this you probably will still have to do this manual sort of labor of importing sentences and making sure they're timed up with the actual audio in uh, AG sub. But if there is a quick way and you do know of a quick way of doing this, then definitely let me know in the comment section down below. And hopefully uh, in the future, I'll make uh, an updated video on this and show you a better way of doing it. Um, because it is a bit slow. That's the only issue with this. It is obviously a bit slow. You do physically have to copy paste, you know, find the right timings and then change the timings. Okay guys, so thanks for watching this video. If you found it useful, don't forget to leave a comment and a like letting me know. Um, if you want to see more stuff to do with Subster SRS, more ways of making Anki decks, then let me know. If you've got any ideas for like what kind of things you could do, then um, I can look into them and see what I can do. And just quickly before I go, I wanted to say a massive thank you to Diedrich, Eric, R and Anton um, and everybody else who's supporting me on Patreon right now. All of you have been absolutely amazing. Um, just thank you so much for all the support. Also guys, if you're interested, I also have a ton of Substar SRS decks on my actual Patreon page. You can access over 60 decks for just $1 a month. And you can also see which decks uh, you're actually going to get if you check out um, the link in the description. There'll be a link there to my website where I list all the decks that are currently in my sentence bank. And uh, yeah, as I say, just for $1 a month, you get access to all of those. You can download as many as you like. You can add them to your Anki and you can sentence mine them. You can just go through them one sentence at a time, you know, just as slow or as fast as you like. And you can just mine through thousands and thousands of sentences um, and you don't have to waste all of your time actually making the decks, waiting for Substar SRS to do its thing and then going through all the issues of actually importing into Anki. Instead, I've done it all for you. So if you're interested in that or if you're interested in supporting me on Patreon in general, please check out my Patreon page and check out the links in the description. Thank you very much. And yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.